Hello everyone and welcome to Vinyl Obscura. Today we are going to be reviewing the 5 LP box set of Peter Lofner, which collects most of his short life's work. Peter Lofner was a Cleveland music legend, part of the proto-punk movement that exploded in 1977, the same year he died at the age of 25. My first exposure to Peter Lofner was back in the late 1980s when a friend of mine played me a 45 of Cinderella Backstreet that was released by the Forest Exposure magazine. To this day, I think the song captures the underbelly of the Midwest, an ode to the darker side of the street, beyond the middle class rust belt we are all familiar with. Peter originally started as a blues and rock and roll guitarist before recognizing that his true love was glam and though it didn't have a label at the time, punk. But his playing went beyond the simple two chords that epitomizes punk, as we will hear in the samples from this inclusive collection. His best material has an obvious Lou Reed influence, but one taken further than the Bevel Underground frontman. It was Peter Lofner and others like him who led to groups in Cleveland, like the Dead Boys or the Pagans. This 5 LP box set from Smallville Records also includes a 100 page hardbound book making this one of the best musical documents I've ever seen in my years of collecting music. Though Peter Lofner died too young, this box set is a fitting epitaph to a budding genius. Highly recommended. Me, I'm gonna walk on down in the alley Down where the light shines so very dimly Where the other cat walks on silent dirty feet With Miss Cinderella in the back street Ain't it fun when you're always on the run what you become Ain't it fun when you get so high that you can't come Ain't it fun when you know that you're gonna die young It's such fun Such fun Sylvia Plath was never too good at math But they tell me that she finished at the head of her class And if she lost any virginity She didn't lose it too fast Song quality, two stars. Most of these tracks come from home studios or live settings, which were quite primitive in the 1970s. Package quality, five stars. Among the best I've ever seen, the hardbound book has a biography and his writings for various newspapers and magazines. Musical quality, four stars. There is a lot of material here covering several years where he went from doing covers to writing his own songs. The latter is where Peter Lofner really began to shine. <laughs> 